Welcome back to King's Quest. I'm Tigus. This is my wife, Erin. Hey, guys. And we are here at the... Auditions. Auditions. Um, hello. Hello, fancy knights. There were no options. If that treasure was to be mine, I had to sacrifice my arm for the good of the... <laughs> Duka -duka 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 oh, hey, Graham. We were just sharing some tips about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. Fizzini. Uh, loin, Sir Loin of Roast Beefington, Sir Ver of Arrows, Sir Ten of himself, and I'm good, thanks. <laughs> what can you tell me about Sir Loin of Roast Beefington? I can tell you that sounds like a phony name. Who's giving you this false information? Did you just make that up? Go and introduce yourself to everyone. Then come see me for the dirt. All right. Sound good? Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. Hello. My name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Achaka. Okay. Ooh, should we partner up with him? I don't think he wants to. Oh. So, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? Achaka. Nice, nice. I prefer the hand-whittled sapling arrows myself. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. <laughs> you unearthed the treasure that was within. Hey there, I'm Graham. Charmed, I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg. What rock did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this well-proportioned face? He's very shiny. Well, it's not yep. Greg. It's Graham. And, uh, of course, I know who you are. You're... You're... Every woman's dream. The jerk who pushed me in the river is Sir Ten of himself. Should we appeal to his vanity? Probably. Every woman's dream? You got that right. The ladies love, 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 love... Who? Who? Who do they love, Gabe? It's not Gabe, it's... Oh, never mind. Yes, your name. You are. You're. Sir Ten of himself. <laughs> Ch cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. <laughs> I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're. The jerk who pushed us in the river. That jerk who pushed me into the river. Oh, yes, that silly feather does look familiar. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> <laughs> like a limp piece of cheese. <laughs> what you need, Gail, is an upgrade. <laughs> like my mane of excellence. Hey, hey, my mother gave me that feather. I might be silly, but you're... You're... Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. <laughs> yeah, right then. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really, it gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. <laughs> Those knights were annoying me, and I wanted some alone time. Let me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test, and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. Too true. Make it quick, then buzz off. What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. Let's harass him a little bit. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. Fine. I'm Graham. Graham Gra No. No last names. I don't even want your first name. <laughs> and your name? I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference, but I am currently in the process of rebranding myself, starting with my name. You should call me Acorn. Okay. Go away. Um. These people are weird. Um. Yes, Graham. 
You want some dirt on someone? What can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. No, I really. Tell you this, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. What kind of a weirdo does that? Imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. Poor squirrel. What can you tell right? me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <sighs> you got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance. But the translation isn't quite working. What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly buns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few. Does that tips mean there's still a way to get the information of him? I guess so. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. What do you want? I uh, heard what you're hiding. No, you didn't, skinny pants. I did. I heard a rumor that a tiny squirrel pet lives under your belly. What? Who told you that? I bet it was whispering. He's a worse. Ha <laughs> ha. This ego is the yes. one thing I can't stomach. And she, well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. I want to see the squirrel. Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. That's she's amazing. A proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. I like Princess Madeline. I'll leave you be. You need to get lost. Whisper. Three monster of years. Have you remembered my name? Whisper. Correct. Well. Whisper's full name is Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. Sally. Hailing from Modesto. But I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Uh, I don't seem to have any portraits on me. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it. Free of charge. Whisper loves his fans. Whisper loves the knighthood. Whisper loves thwarting evil. But most of all, Whisper loves Whisper. So we have to use his ego As against him. We all. Yeah. I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. Don't go. Whisper can do it. That's a nice thought, but I'm pretty sure those guards would never confuse you for me. I mean, your armor is pretty recognizable. Whisper's armor is shiny because Whisper loves his own reflection. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Good day, Whisper. He's interesting. Now let's find out the dirt on him and take her test. Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? Whisper! What can you tell me about Whisper? Whisper? Huh. His feet might fly by without a sound, but his mouth never will. A shining star in his hometown, he hopes to rebuild his fan base in Daventry. I've heard he'll do anything for the spotlight. And can never be outshined. People at Arakan are usually primed for a ball. Don't you think so? Yep. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. But now he's our biggest threat. Manny? Yeah. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Let's, Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Achaka? Or Manny. I guess it's uh, I guess it would have to be Manny, because he uh, wasn't he talking about that earlier. Yeah, he's trying to translate with Achaka. Manny, we're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. Well, that would be Achaka because he doesn't speak any of the local languages. That's true. Achaka. Okay. Moving on. What is the full name of the fastest well, contestant that's in the competition? Whisper because he gave us a ridiculously long name. Yeah. Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. the third of Modesto. I'm sure of it. 
I see. <laughs> Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? The squirrel. Princess Madeline of Avenel. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Look, a mirror, stimulating conversation, or a slick handcrafted bow. Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got all the answers correct. Woo! Job pockets. Now, we shouldn't keep your new friends waiting, should we? Let's start the show. Welcome, everybody. You were all here to win a knight position on King Edward's court. But that's not all. As you all know, tragically, the king has no heirs. So, this position could very well lead to the crown of territory mm. itself. Now, let's officially commence the competition part of the tournament. I do hope you've all made friends, because it's about to get nasty. Oh dear. The time has come to collect your entrance tickets. Oh, uh, oh over here! Over here, I got mine right here! I'm sorry, I really am, but that is not an entrance ticket. In fact, from up here, it looks like a, a sweaty piece of cloth. Oh, probably just a snot rag. <laughs> Each night hopeful will need to bring back to the theatre, dum 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 dum, one eye of a hideous beast. And, due to Proclamation 1748.2, it will actually need to be a hideous beast. Not like last year. No adorably cute, fuzzy, or tiny creature eyes will be accepted. <laughs> Not <the> <laughs> there are many hideous eyes to find in Daventry. We urge you to take this opportunity to show us your skills. We want to know what's in your heart, how you think, and how you react in the face of danger. You might not believe all that can be interpreted from one eye, but we will still judge you all the same. Now, everyone, go forth and claim thine eyes. <laughs> the eye can still be in the animal, right? I don't really want to pluck an eyeball out. Well, we'll find out. I think it's getting plucked out. They got out really quickly. <gasps> There's a girly. Let's awkwardly walk across. Yeah, it's not that skinny that you need to walk like that, dude. Wow. Oh. Hello, Watch skilled crafts kid. lady. Oh, thanks. I know it ain't fancy, but it'll have to work for now. Amaya Blackstone, nice to meet you. Great. Amaya Blackstone. The mine. It's nice to see all these bridges are getting fixed. All these bridges? No, kid. This contract is over. Daventry can't afford me anymore. They can't even afford oil for the crumbler over there. My own invention, of course. Oh, what does a crumbler do? It lifts, it chops, it crumbles. Most importantly, it brings in the monies which are desperately needed. Been kind of rough around here lately. It seems that way. Daventry's been an interesting experience so far. Different from what I read in my travel books. Honestly, I'm starting to wonder if it's for me. Don't worry, kid. It's not you. This kingdom's been going downhill ever since the queen died. And now, with the bridges out, no one can get into Daventry. It's really quiet. I hate the silence. I'm a woman of action, if you couldn't tell. Quiet towns don't pay the bills. I can see that. Well, I should get going. Perhaps someone's wandered into my shop. If you make it there, come say hi. I'm on the left. Oh, she's probably the blacksmith. Yeah. Keep out distress. All right. Caution, bees and distress. Oh yeah, because we wrecked the bees. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, how did you find an eye? It was a hideous beast rocking inside. Probably a kitten. Ouch! A rude. <laughs> Maybe don't shove your arm into unknown bushes. Pumpkin! What are you even doing? Oh god. <gasps> what are they? Squirrels. They look that like bunny squirrels. Was housing too many squirrels for my taste. <laughs> Maybe there's something terrorizing the town. Uh, how 
precious. The badger wanted to make friends with the squirrels. No, it did not. Yeah, probably not. <gasps> Wolves? Oh. Get out of here! Scram! Shoot! Beat it! They look like greyhound wolves. They're all skinny. Ugh, these dumb lanterns are always breaking. You hear that, Chester? You're a hack! Not everyone around here takes pride in their work like I do. Unfortunately, those blue flames are the only things that spook the pack. So I'm forced to return to their shop of wizardry and toiletries. Wedzel wolves are super aggressive this time of year. Usually, they travel north to the hills of Serenia for mating season. But like us, they are stranded here until the bridges are fixed. Hey, kid, can you do me a favor? Sure. I can try. Can you help me keep that back door closed? I run the local Wedzel Wolf Watch program here in town. There's patches getting made. If you keep that door closed, you can be an official member. Think it over. Patches. <laughs> What? Yeah, right. I walked into town with my last coin. Whatever path I chose to pursue for my eye would need to be cheap. Well, we came in here earlier and we left the the tip. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it wasn't here, was it? Hello no, it's the good afternoon. Potion um, place. Forgive the shop from lacking our usual favorites. With all the bridges out and my supplier missing, I can't keep all my delicious treats stocked. But uh, have a look around. I'm here to answer any questions. He still has lots. Maybe We're we need to lure something. True. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so where do we actually go? That had the um, table. Up here. Was it the potion shop? I think so. Oh, yeah. <sighs> You're on the delivery, boy, are you? That merchant is usually so prompt with our air, miraculous, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Oh, horse feathers, Chester. This boy's no carrier. He desires a position in King Edward's court. He's a thinking soul just like us. If he continues down this path, he will have no trouble defeating the contenders in this year's night tournament. Zounds! Did you just read my fortune? No, we were just very old and very judgmental <laughs> people. It's true, we're judges. This is my judging face. Ariel and I don't read fortunes anymore. Yeah? There was no future in it. <laughs> oh, we couldn't tell fortunes even if we wanted to. Someone purchased our fortune table when we were watching the parade. <laughs> it was there. Oh, whoever left us that money is bound to have good fortune. Wish we had more thoughtfulness like that in Daventry. Take a look around, boy. Let us know if you like anything you Well, see. it worked out for us then. Good fortune. Oh, the blue flame. Something mysterious and magical was brewing in that pond. We need the blue flame for the Amaya. But it's broken. It like some type of broken lantern. What are these little guys? Those are bird bombs. Our own invention. Kind of like a smoke bomb. But they release gas that will cause your victim to cluck like a chicken. <laughs> Temporarily, of course. Those ones are inspired, though, so they're just for display. <laughs> Hmm. We can't go upstairs? There's nothing else to do, I don't think. Something oh. mysterious and magical was brewing. In that I wish we could skip. Maybe we just explore. Yeah, I guess so. Let's look at the door. Keeping out the Wetzel Wolves. That we broke in with earlier. What are we doing? Why are we doing it? Uh. Um. I guess we could go that way if we really wanted to. But. I feel like she, our friend would hate us. Probably. Let's go see Amaya.
Hello. Hey, Graham. If you like sharp things, you've come to the right place. We have over 23. Oh, forgive me. Last night was a little rough. I woke up on the floor. My bed nowhere to be found. Can you believe that? What type of Yahoo steals a bed while you're sleeping in it? And the most curious part, nothing else is missing. That wasn't us, was it? Anyway, mm, I don't think take so. Take a look around. Let me know if something piques your interest. I feel like we'd know if we stole our bed. Back away from the crumbler. Unless you have 50 gold coins for a work order. I have no idea how much gold we how have. How much for that One. twisty dagger over there? It's not for sale. Needs a bit more work. Hmm. You can post a work order on anything you want lifted, chopped, or crumbled. Then I'll bring out Mrs. Crumbler to fulfill the order. What else is there? I think we just go on our adventure now. Okay, as long as we don't get eaten by Wetzel wolves. I don't think we can. Going for a scamper. We haven't found any creatures. I have to get these old pigs before I can go home. Leave me be so I can finish my work. What's he picking? I'm almost done here. I don't know. I was wondering if he would let me like help him or something. Huh. There's a giant shoe. Horn. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> shoe horn. I was trying to be funny. It is a horn. It's a shoe horn. A new kind of horn, but the same result. I feel like they'll be really important later. <gasps> Buggies! Do they count? No. Wherever you are hiding, hideous beasts, we're close. I was too slow to catch those frogs. Well, that would be pretty f weird. Creepy eye. Yeah. <laughs> Do squirrels count as hideous? I think we might have to. I think we might have to go into the Wetzel Wolf area. Yeah, most likely. A well, whisper. Well, that is pretty ridiculous. So next episode, we'll try and find a hideous eye from a hideous beast. Yeah. It will be hideous. So hideous. Super hideous. Yeah, I don't even know. I I feel like we won't even be picking out an eye. We'll uh, just be. We'll we'll probably find something by accident by sheer luck. One bell missing. <gasps> We're stealers. We're supposed to be a he good king. He never gave us everything we have. His legacy was tarnished in his later years, but he was a once. Great man, and he left me with a dabber tree to grow into a kingdom it is today. Ooh. Maybe the bells will scare the Wetzel wolves. Maybe. But yeah, so we will leave it here and um, figure out what's going on over here. I'm sure it'll be very fun. So, hope you guys enjoyed. We will be back in a week or two with a new episode. And if you enjoyed it, give us a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys.